What's up guys, it's Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We're back with another vending collection video. This time we're at our brewery location. And let's see how this machine did this week, or this month I guess you could say. Because uh, we were on the road and we stocked this machine up um, off camera one more time right before we went on our road trip. Uh, but now that we're back, it's time to collect and time to see how things are going. So the good thing about this machine is it's got a Nyax credit card reader on it. So I can always tell exactly what inventory is in the machine at any given time. So, you know, even if I were to look right now, I could see exactly how many um, Lay's potato chips are in the machine. Uh, so it's pretty cool. So I really like that feature. And that's one thing I love about the Nyax credit card reader is it tells me, like I said, how much inventory is in the machine. And because of that, I can pre-kit and come fully prepared to stock the machine. So I can bring exactly what I need to put in the machine and not have to guess or, you know, make decisions on, you know, how many things I need to bring because I know exactly what I need to bring. And the Nyax app or software is really cool because it'll actually generate what's called a, a, a pick list for you. And what that means is it creates a list of products and how many of each one you need to bring the stock machine back up to a 100% capacity. So yeah, it's really cool. So here we go, we're stocking up the Cheetos and um, it, it's kind of funny. So um, we actually did a few off camera inventories on this machine just to change things up. And you'll see in our next video when we come to this location that we actually end up pulling the rest of those Cheetos and doing a whole nother row. Did I say, we're, we pull those Fritos. I mean, we, we end up pulling those Fritos that are there on the right. And we end up doing a whole nother row of Cheetos because the Cheetos are the first things to sell out at this location, which is great because a lot of other locations or a lot of other vendors always complain that Cheetos never sell. So they sell great here for us. So I'm very happy about that. All right, so let's see. We got the Lay's Classic stocked up. We got the Cheetos stocked up. We got the Doritos. We're working on those. So now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna actually going to go into the Nyax app. And I know it's tough to see on camera here, but I'm going to go into the Nyax app and I'm changing the inventory levels for each product that we just stocked up. And I'm moving them to 100%. And look like they're, uh, some, some of these videos just posted. I can't remember if that was Tim O'Loughlin's video, but somebody's video I just posted while I was working on the inventory. And I had to swipe it right, so I'll watch that later. But I thought that was pretty cool that happened on, on camera. All right, next row. Look at those cheese. The cheese that's are pretty well sold out. So we're going to stock those up. And we know we've got, I think we got eight of those to stock. So we brought eight of those with us. So we're going to stock those up. And as you can see, I've got Mrs. Galaxy Games 843 helping me out. She's been such an awesome assistant, business partner, whatever you want to call it. Um, with getting these uh, these machines stocked up efficiently. So usually the service at this location would take me a good 25 to 30 minutes. With her long, I'm, I'm done in 10 minutes or, or just around there. So it's definitely awesome. It's great having her with me. So I'm so appreciative of her help. All right, we're gonna get the pretzels stocked up next. So once we got the three of those in there, that shelf should be complete and then I can update the Nyax app. Now we got one more Pop-Tart Bites as well. There we go. All right. Shelf is complete. Let's jump into the Nyax app. No, we're gonna move on to the next row first. There we go. We got some Wise cheese doodles to stock up. And it looks like we got some some honey barbecue chips from the Wise company. There's some of those. And there's a quick quick tip: turn your bags upside down. Let all the product go to the top, and it'll be easier to put them into the in the coils. For those of you who haven't learned that trick yet. Turn it upside down, <laughs> let the product go to the top, and kind of don't squeeze it, but hold it there in place with your, with your, with your thumb and finger. So that way you can, uh, so that way you can get everything in where it needs to be. All right, next we're going to do some white cheddar popcorn. And this does pretty well at this location too. The problem is, you know, all of this stuff comes in a variety pack from Wise and there's always a limited amount of the white cheddar popcorn. And there's always so many things like those cheese doodles. There's like twice as many of those. So we always have so many more cheese doodles but the white cheddar popcorn does really good at this location. So I'm thinking if it continues to do well, I might have to buy a whole box of that smart food white cheddar popcorn. You know, I'm sure you've seen that in previous videos before, not mine, obviously, but other vendors videos. I think, uh, I think Jamie Farnsworth used to do those in, in a lot of his locations. It was smart food. He caught, and, and they're like, they're very similar to that. I think it's like a black bag. It's got like a corn cob on the front or something like that, but it's white cheddar popcorn in essence. All right, now we're going, we're stocking up some. We've got like shortbread cookies for the kids. Uh, we got crackers, a couple different things like that that we're stocking up. Um, all right, got that row done. Moving on to the next row. Looks like we 
Starting to run low on the fruit snacks. So we're definitely gonna have to add those to our shopping list the next time we're at Sam's Club because I know we don't have any more of those in inventory and just what's left in the machine. All right, we're gonna stock up the M&Ms. There she's pointing out to me that we need fruit snacks. I'm like, yeah, I know we were, we're out of inventory that we don't have any left. So we definitely have to buy more of those. All right, what is next? Couple more M&Ms, there we go. All right, let's get those fully stocked up. And some Skittles. I was actually surprised. Skittles don't do super well at this location. Now remember, it is a brewery. So I try to, I try to combine the different items that will go well with um, beverages. And I guess Skittles just aren't, aren't the ones. So, you know, the, the salty snacks do really well. But they did want some candy options because, you know, this is, even though it is a brewery, they do welcome families. So there's kids in here all the time. And that's why we have things like the fruit snacks and the shortbread cookies. And they actually do pretty well. Um, so you'll see that. So here I am. I'm back in the Nyax app. And I'm changing inventory levels on everything that we've stocked up so far. And I'm saving all my st all my stuff so that way it's uh, saved within the system. Um, and during this video, like I know it's, it's tough to see on the Nyax app. But they've actually made some updates to the Nyax app and it's it's been a lifesaver. So now... I don't know if you can see in this video, but I've talked about it before. Um, in the inventory list, when I'm doing these things, you can't see the name of the item on the left-hand side there. That has been fixed in the latest update, so I'm so excited. Because it's always been like a challenge to pick out which item I need to change the inventory level of when I can't see the name of the item. So I have to go by kind of like location, and you can usually see the last couple letters. But I'm excited to say, guys, there's been an update or whatever, but it's now working on the Nyx app properly for me, and I can't be happier about that. So shout out to the Nyx guys. Really appreciate the continued support and the effort that you put into your product because it's amazing. We're really happy with it. So thanks, guys. All right, getting everything, all the levels changed. And I think I have one more row to do still too, so, uh, but I was just trying to get caught up because Mrs. Galaxy Games 843 was so efficient with getting me on the inventory in, in order. I didn't have time to update the app. She was, she was going quick, and you know that's that's one of the thing that you know takes the time at this location is updating the Nyx app. So that way, you know I have to spend a couple extra minutes doing that here while I'm at the shop, but it saves me a bunch of time in the future because then I can do my pre kits and I can do exactly what I need to do, inventory wise, and pack it up properly and not have to bring a bunch of extra stuff. All right, so I'm doing quick counts on the fruit snacks. I know I have to buy those the next time I'm at Sam's Club because I don't have any more in my regular inventory right now. So I'm changing my levels, because I think what I did was I moved some from one row to another row. All right, check in my next thing. There we go, I had to move one row down because I moved some to the other row. All right, we got that saved. And what are we doing next? Check in more, change more inventory levels. There we go. All right, so guys, now's a good time to call out. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you want to, click the bell notification. We are well on our way to 1,000 subscribers. We're almost to the 900 mark. As of this video, we're at 889 subscribers. So I really would appreciate everyone's support. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. We've got all kinds of great videos coming your way. Um, you know, our last video, we picked up a bunch of machines from a retiring operator. Uh, in the comments, we've had a lot of votes on what everyone wants to see next. Most people want to see the claw machine next. And then after that, just opening up those bulk capsule machines. So we're definitely working on those videos as we speak. We're going to have some great content coming your way. Make sure you're a subscriber. Click the bell notification so you're notified when those videos go live. I'm telling you guys, they're going to be a great time watching these videos. I'm having so much fun making them. Can't wait to, uh, can't wait till they post. So like I said, now's a good time to subscribe and uh, we really appreciate everyone's support. All right, so we got those Cliff Bars updated. We got the Nestle Crunch added in. Now it's time to finalize the inventory levels there. And all I'm doing is I'm changing the inventory levels in the Nyx app to exactly how many items are in the machine. So once again, that way we can always tell what exactly is uh, our, our levels are in the machine. So that way we, we know when it's time to come back or when we need to go collect or when we need to go stock up. 
And uh, since since this video was shot, I know we've actually had to go back at least one more time, like I said, for those Cheetos. So we pulled the Fritos on the upper right, and we did two rows of Cheetos. So in the next video that we come to this location, you'll see double rows of Cheetos if they're not already sold out. All right, so now we got everything stocked up. It's time to do the money, yeah. All right, so what we do in this location, we always pull the quarters, and there's never a whole lot of quarters. We usually just put them right back in the coin tube because um, this location usually runs low on quarters. And I I'm sure it's because we have so many items that are $1.25, so if you put in $2 and you get 75 cents back, that's gonna make our coin tube go low every time, right? So what we do is um, any, any quarters that we collect um, out of the cash box there in the bottom, we just put right back in the coin tube so that way there's no, uh, no shortage in coins. And sometimes we do have to bring extra quarters to put in there as well. But let's go ahead and open the cash box. All right, there we go. It's, nice, it's a nice little stack. With the cash box and the credit card sales, we did 73.50 in the month of July. So I know that was a slow month for this location. And you know there's still a lot of social distancing. So this location, they have an outdoor patio. And people can come in and order their drinks and take it to the outdoor patio, but there's no bar stools, there's no chairs really inside. So that kind of restricts the visibility of our machine because, you know, you know people can people know it's there, but they're not sitting inside near it to, to see it and be reminded of it. So until this whole social distancing thing, whatever, gets uh, pulled back, we're going to have a slower location like this. All right, guys, again, this is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. We need your support. Give us a thumbs up, like, and share our videos. Comment down below with anything you want to see in the future. Um, and we, like I said, we appreciate everyone's support, guys. So this is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.